right, what up fish homies? We freaking out here in Orange County. Just mishmashed out. And we're going for a red tail catfish. It's like an aquarium fish from either Asia or South America. And I guess like some people let them go in here like from their own aquariums or something. I know the city didn't stock them, but I saw a picture of a dude that caught one here. So we're going to try and get one or any other catfish. But we here. <laughs> Did a little research and figured out that purple and black is a favorite color of carp and it's also for bass so we're hoping that it works for catfish too. Read right about like something to do with the light and they can see the black and purple and blue underwater a little better. That's just like I don't know, kind of common knowledge. I don't know if it's true, but we're gonna try it. We got blueberry and strawberry mixed chicken this time. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna try this shallow spot for a minute. It's like nine o'clock. If we don't get bit in like an hour, we're gonna dip. It's probably hard to see, but there's like a little island in front of us. Then over to the right here is the little lagoon where we'll be fishing. The other side of the island is a big part of the lake, so we'll head over there if we don't get anything. This lake might look clean on video, but when you get up and close, it's pretty freaking dirty. It's like freaking six inches right here, and you can't even see the bottom. There's just crap everywhere. Hopefully, the fish are alive. There's like a little bubbler right there out in the middle it's kind of hard to see but hopefully the fish like that because it's bringing in oxygen and there's a mad current coming around this island so we'll see what happens just pull this little bluegill in off the slim jammer with the drop shot you already know gotta get another bluegill every lake we go so the little fatty it's a nicey yeah What'd you get him on? Drop shot with the little Slim Jim. Same little Ooh. size 14 hook. Another fire bait. Yep. Over at Mile Square Park. Yep. Should we let this guy go? Let him go. Nasty water over here. <laughs> it's super yeah. gross. Here, put him in the light. Yeah. Here you go. Nice shot, bro. Got some dope fish, no cats yet. I think we might move spots in like 30 minutes if we don't get any more bites. Right across from where we're fishing, there's a little freaking carnival going on. That's pretty random. Haven't experienced that yet. There's even a little Ferris wheel. Anyways, got the rods out. Now it's just a waiting game. We're not having luck with the old big fish tonight, but. 3D's got another bluegill. That's a goodie. Got spines out and everything. Yeah. What's on his tail? Did it's he go dirt. in the dirt? Yeah, oh. <laughs> you think you can get him out, dude? I don't know. It looks like it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Later, homie. Wait, 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 wait. What'd you get him on? You didn't uh, even tell the got bait him or on anything. That drop shot with the corn this time. Yeah, that's a nice, cool-looking little bluegill. Oh yeah, leave him like that. Nice. All right, let's get the release. Lighter fish, homie. Put him right in the light, light. He gone. Back in action. We found out these bluegills like corn. This one flew right off the hook, though, so I'm gonna rinse them off. Want the net? Yeah. All right, this one's a little bigger. Look at that big old hump on his head. Must be a little dominant male in the group. He's got a nice little red belly. Yeah. Alright, wanna let him go? Let's do it. Looks like he got like attacked by a catfish. Or <laughs> Another one with the corn. Oh yeah, corn flago. Oh, oh that guy was ready. Yeah. Later back. Alright. <laughs> Is it filming? Yeah. Cause picked up on this giant ass white tilapia. <laughs> Freaking on a piece of jello blueberry chicken, holy moly. I thought it oh, what? A little again. double. Here, reel it in. I just caught this fatty ass tilapia, white tilapia. 
out of, uh, what is this? Where are we? Mile oh, yeah, Square. Mile Square Park. <laughs> Got him on the old blueberry chicken. We're going to try and get a weight on this guy. This is my first tilapia ever caught, so pretty stoked. I didn't even know they ate chicken. That thing is stinky. I know, it's so slimy. All right, got it? Yep, that 1.71. 1 1.11 ounce, one pound and 11 ounces. Oh, that lucky 111. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's how you weigh, I'm sorry if I'm messing it up. Like I said, it's my first tilapia, so we're gonna get this guy off and let him go. They do have little weird teeth. All right, got the release right here. Yep. What number is this on low key? I think it's number five or six. We'll figure out when we make the video, but this guy is just killing him. Got him. Is it in the corner of the mouth? Take your way back to the water there, yeah. homie. He gone. <laughs> Alright, this is probably the last update. We made one final move. We're gonna fish for like 15 minutes and if we don't get a bite, we're out of here. It's like 1 a.m. or something. We got that tilapia and a bunch of bluegill, but no cats or carp. We definitely got two big hits and uh, those were definitely something big, but I don't know, they just didn't stick for some reason. We're gonna have to reevaluate our hook situation for the old Mile Square Park, but we're definitely gonna come back here because this place is dope. If you guys wanna just come chill and have a nice time fishing, like we had fun even though we didn't catch a catfish or a carp, it would be fun just to come here and chill, but check out Mile Square Park. Alright, he's hooked up on another one. Heck yeah. That was first cast over here. Yeah, we're, little minnow. yeah we're over there. Oh, you switched over to the minnow? This guy. Alright. Is he like a big size or what? I can't even tell. Oh yeah, look at that. He yeah, got him on that one inch gulp alive minnow. Cut the head off a little bit. Yeah, just to make it a little smaller, so like three quarter inch. Barely got him on the lipper. That's perfect though, perfect hook set. Hell yeah. All right, ready to let him go? Yeah. All right, later little homie. Oh, it was a lot of focus, but you could still see him. All right, just caught this little bluegill off a piece of corn. I'm not skunked for the bluegill anymore tonight. Taylor caught like a thousand, but I caught one. So we're gonna get this guy. Ooh, he's a little feisty little guy. We're gonna get this guy off the hook. This guy, dude. And another one. Slaying him with the corn. I think I might be able to get this one off too. These ones are all nice size. Uh, Bluegill, actually. Yeah, well, not huge, but better than normal. Let's... One more little guy. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's put him back in that dirty water. I think he's gone. <laughs> he, yeah, just just quiet. <laughs> he didn't float back up, but he's gone. <laughs> and another one. At least we're catching freaking bluegill that aren't this guy's tiny. Oh, right baby right. size. Hook set. Oh yeah, we got him right in the mouth. Oh, no, drop shotter. You can get it out. Oh! <laughs> this guy <laughs> can never hold the fish. <laughs> Alright, let's let this guy go. He don't. Look how freaking dirty that water is. Alright. So it's freaking 308. I think you can see in my 
clock right there. Anyways, didn't have the best luck, didn't get the cat, uh, but we got that white tilapia. We kind of looked it up on the internet. I haven't really seen the footage yet, so I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure it was like really white in tears that I had a red tail, so. I think that might have been a rare one. Might be common, I don't know. That was the first tilapia I've ever caught, so. I think it was a pretty good size one, too. Anyways, we forgot to do an outro, so. Peace out, fish homies. And from little Taylor doggy gang gang.